Hey, what's up guys? Chaos Theory here, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use text mods with Guild Wars using my Guild Wars multi-client launcher. There's been a lot of demand for this, so I decided let's just make something quick. So let's just get into it. What you'll need is the text mod you want to use. In this case I'm going to use Minimalist UI. You're going to need my Guild Wars launcher. You're going to need UMod not text mod. Text mod will not work with my Guild Wars launcher. It's also pretty buggy um, and new mods just kind of better not to break or anything but um also uh, this version of UMod is a bit different. Uh, you're going to need this version. Um, if you use a different version it will most likely just crash on startup. I will have a download link in the description below for this. Please use that version. Okay so have that and then of course you're going to need Guild Wars. Um, this can be any installation, it doesn't have to be anywhere specific. Okay, so let us start. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a new folder wherever Guild Wars Launcher.exe is and make it named Plugins all lowercase. Okay, now you're going to want to go to your UMod. You'll see these DLLs with it. What you want to do is select umod d3d9 underscore di. Make sure it's the di version. And control C, copy that. And throw that into the plugins folder you just created in the Guild Wars launcher directory or folder. Throw that in there. Okay. And now what we're going to be wanting to do is starting up umod. So this is umod if you're not familiar with it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is hit main, add game, and what you want to do is go to your guildwars.exe folder, so right here. And what I'm going to do is hit open. Uh, for me, it gives me an error message, message saying that it's already added. For you, you probably won't get this message unless you're already set up. Okay, um, and if you do get the message, just ignore it you're already set up. Okay, so we're done here. Now what we do is we launch Guild Wars and we're going to get this nice little Guild Wars tab open right here and you'll load into Guild Wars right there. So uh, stay on the login screen for now and now what we're gonna do is we have no we are UMod is within the game but we have no text mods or anything loaded so what we need to do is select the text mods that we want to use. So first of all, you have to make sure that support TPF mods is selected. So for example, if you see it like this, make sure that you click it and make sure you have the checkbox next to it. Um, you need this because pretty much every Guild Wars text mod is a .tpf. And if you don't have that, you can't use those. So make sure that is selected. And now, um, Obviously, you're going to be wanting to right click in this white space in order to open this menu just to make sure that you understood what I was doing there. Okay, so now once that is selected, make sure you open the texture package. And what you are wanting to do is you want to go to the .tpf that you have. So uh, once you do that, hit open, and you'll get here add. They're kind of just debug messages that were never taken out. And once you load it in, you should have the text mod loaded into the game and everything should be set. set. I'm bad with grammar. So let's go into the game. And here it is. It's loaded into the game. Um, with text mod, you can actually unload it and reload it on demand which is very nice there we go pretty cool um, if you need to know you have the A and the D um, A just means use all textures um, that have been modified in the game and um, if you don't have that selected um, it won't use the texture um, if you select D here it says don't use any of the textures and then once you update it goes away. So it's pretty nice. You can actually change textures on the fly with UMod. Okay, so enough bragging about UMod. So you're set up. Um, 
So one thing is that you're going to also need to save your setup because for now if you just unload um, your you will reload with no text mods loaded again. Um, what you want to do is hit main and hit save template. Um, this is kind of just an auto save to tell you like when Guild Wars is loaded use these text mods by default. Um, so yeah, make sure you have that set up and once you do um, you're pretty much set up. So all you have to do is make sure that new mod is loaded before you start up your account. And as long as you do that, it should load up every time. So, there you go. You now have text mods, and I hope this video helps. And thank you for using my launcher, and thanks for watching.